excuse me, sir. Uh, hi, uh, sorry, hi. Um, are these anything like Dungeons and Dragons? Well, I don't know. I guess that, uh, that kind of depends on what you're used to. Let me guess, you're a 5th edition player. Yeah, um, I, I grew up thinking I would never play D&D, but uh, I tried some over the weekend at a party and it was really amazing. Yeah, I see. And now you're out looking for more? That's right. I mean, my mom told me it was going to cause all kinds of problems, like like loneliness and, and math, but it totally didn't. It was amazing and I'm so ready to try it again. I don't know, kid. What I got may not be what you're looking for. What do you mean? It, it says Dungeons and Dragons on it. It must be like what I've tried before. Ha! Huh, yeah, that's what we all thought. But listen, it's a crazy world out there. And most of the games you run across, they ain't gonna be as smooth a ride as 5th edition. They're gonna get crunchy. Hey, just because I don't know what that means doesn't mean I can't handle it. I'll have you know, my cleric has an end of 16. It means that there are rule systems out there where you don't just get clean, functional results handed back on a silver platter. People always say, oh, don't worry about me, I can take it. But I tell you what, by the third hour of character creation, they're just dropping like flies. So what? I gotta put in more work to make it work? I'm not scared. I do group assignments by myself. No, it ain't just that simple. Let her live a bit, Howard. Some games get messy, but nothing arguing online for hours can't fix. Not now, Reginald. Shouldn't you be out calculating a thacko or some nonsense? Pretty salty for someone who spent hours trying to get his archer's attack bonus right, and then missed. You see, that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's dangerous. People think, how bad can one session of Pathfinder be? And then there you find yourself Look at the old issues of Dragon to find one prestige class to port over because you think it'd make a nice archetype for your Eidolon. Ignore him. You ever want to play a ninja? You mean like a way of the shadows, Mark? No, I mean a ninja. Level six, you can walk on lava. That is all I've ever wanted. You want to go to the moon and shoot firearms? Yes. Maybe you want to use the test of meat and turn into a dinosaur. Yes. Does 20 levels really seem like enough to you? No, I need more. I need 50 levels. I need 100 levels. Well, let's calm down there, kid. Let's start with 30. Enough! You don't know what you're dealing with. I have seen systems you people wouldn't believe. Systems based entirely on percentile dice. I played a system without any stats or dice at all. All just roleplay. All those players are now lost. Like character sheets left out in the rain. Oh my god. What happened to them? We left all the character sheets in a box out in the rain. Look, she's clearly looking for something with a little more oomph than 5e. Better she get it from us now, safely, than go homebrewing on her own. Ah, jeez, it's just... I got house rules older than you, kid. I don't want to see you get hoit and then throw your life away because of something I sold you. It's okay. You can trust me. I I'm gonna make mistakes, but that's how you learn, right? One day, I can DM my own group, and those players can make little mistakes. Like play monks. And the cycle could continue. All right, all right, fine. You convinced me, kid. Just promise me, please, at least stay away from GURPS. Deal. Here, how about this? You say you're ready for the hard stuff, but let's just get you started with... And when you reach the section entitled Grappling, you see that it is only the violent scribblings of a madman. As you feel your mind lose hold of its ability to distinguish between Euclidean geometry and salad forks, your last point of sanity slips away into the cackling void, and you hear the call of Cthulhu. What? You're dead. Ugh. Ta-da. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video, and I would like to give a big thank you to Dice Dungeons, our sponsor for this video. If you go to DiceDungeons.com, they've got all kinds of cool stuff. Last time I talked about these coins and this rosewood dice chest. One of the things they also have is this uh, pack of mystery dice you can get. Uh, they say it's anything from their current stock or also convention exclusives, sometimes from retired dice. So I thought I would just go open one and see what we get, huh? These awesome green and gold sort of Legend of Zelda style dice. Look at those. Pretty cool. It's a full set of gaming dice, and you can find those on their website, DiceDungeons.com. Thank you for sponsoring this video.